want to show you this mix. It was so fun to make. I had actually taken this mix out into a different DAW. I found problems in the other DAW and I came right back to waveform and I was able to get really creative with the mix. Let me show you. Further to that, I was able to go in and master the same track, all in waveform. I'll show you what I put on the master mix. This was fun. There's a automation here at the end. Watch what happens to the EQ. And I was able to put a, an EQ curve in there, a little bit of compression, and they have all these presets. I was able to pick one of those and work with that as a starting point. It was fantastic. It made things so easy. I'd highly recommend it. Give it a try. Check out here in this edit though. I was able to choose exactly what I wanted to have in there. So first of all, I was able to make submixes like that. It's really easy. You, do, you just hide things away into the same submix. And I was able to put the same reverb onto that. I, I did a different submix with um, all the drums there. The drums, percussion, jazz hats and kick. And put a buzz compressor on that. So this radio and voice sound effects. This voice thing, I did a uh, this thing in there. It's kind of cool the way it works because... So what it's done is this delay studio changes the pitch of the delay. This thing here is uh, sending the pen right to left and the other one is turning that on and off. So that makes it very controllable. And they're both steps, step modifiers. This one is enabling that. And this one is dealing with the dry level. On the radio voice, I had an equalizer that's controlled by this guy here. So if we go back to where the radio comes in. That's so fun to work with. And then here, see all this automation. Simply just click on the A there and you can make all these changes. What's actually being automated here? The volume. There were certain parts of the crowd that were making nice sounds, rhythmic sounds. And here again. What else is going on here? I did have, originally, I, I had built the reverb with this one, but I decided that I didn't really like the sound of it, and I preferred the sound of a dragonfly hall reverb. But maybe just a personal preference. But you can do cool stuff with the reverb as well, because I put a bit of chorus on. To the reverb. I put a ducker there, side chained to kick. So it means that the kick just punches through the reverb and everything. And I put an EQ in there with this sort of shape. And if you just listen to the tail of the reverb here at the end. I'm quite pleased with that sound. 
I don't know, the reverberate, I feel, it seems to give sort of phasey issues for me sometimes. I'm not sure if it's always, but it just gets to this point where things wash out or something. And I'm not sure if it's just my system, because I think overall the sound of it is good. So there you go. It's a really nice mixing environment as well. So many little, so many little effects and everything. It's great.